Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to SJ Woodworks. It's a firewood project today. It's not my firewood, I don't know what it is, but let's see what we can do. Okay, I just have the firewood between centers here on the lathe. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is just true it up. Um, we're using the square carbide cutter for this. This is called the Easy Rougher from Harrison Specialties. This is really my favorite of all the carbide tools. It really makes um, roughing out a blank very easy and very fast. It's actually a lot faster than um, my roughing gouge, my high-speed steel roughing gouge. Um, so what we're making here is um, the Seattle Space Needle, actually a, a model of the Seattle Space Needle. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's a, a tower in downtown Seattle that was built in the 60s for the World's Fair. Uh, it's about 600 feet tall and um, it was built in about a year actually, really quick construction to get that thing done. Uh, they really had to hurry to get it done in time for the World's Fair. Um, so I'm just starting to profile the, kind of the waist of the tower here as I'm sort of figuring this out. I have a paper cutout of the tower here that I'm trying to use to get all the bits and pieces right. Um, you know, I'm loosely following that as I go along here. It never comes out exactly the way I've planned. But now I'm working on the top uh, part of the tower. Now the top has an observation deck, of course, and also a restaurant that uh, rotates around like every 45 minutes or so. The whole thing rotates around. I've never actually eaten there. It's pretty expensive. Um, I'm from down in the Portland area, but I do get up to Seattle quite a bit, but I've never eaten at that restaurant. Um, but there are various... Um, bits up there at the top to try and capture here in our model and I'm using the uh, detail um, tool from Easywood Tools for this section here. Again checking my template to see how well it's matching up. Looks like we're doing pretty good. This firewood of course is not leaving the best surface and it's been flooded with a lot of CA glue as we've gone along and there are a lot of cracks in this. I just got this out of my friend's firewood pile and it's just uh, kind of a mess. but tapering down towards the bottom uh, and making sure we get all the details right there at the top, at least all the right bumps anyway for this uh, for this thing and kind of the right height that we're looking for. Right now uh, there's a little deck down here about a hundred feet up from the bottom on the tower that uh, actually just has a banquet hall in it. I'm just making that section here at the bottom and then uh, tapering it into the curve of the tower. Now somehow I accidentally lost the footage where we finished the point of the tower and parted the whole thing off. So instead I'll just put this picture of the tower in here. Okay, that was kind of a fun project. Um, in case you couldn't tell, what we've got here is the Seattle Space Needle. Um, a friend of my wife's uh, asked me to make this for her. She lives in the Seattle area and she's going to use this on a wooden train table for her kids. So I hope her kids don't watch YouTube, otherwise I might be giving away a Christmas present here. Uh, she lives in the Seattle area now, but she used to live in Vegas. And so we also have the Stratosphere from Las Vegas. The Stratosphere is a little taller, so it's a little taller. Um, I hope she enjoys this. I really did make this from firewood that I got from uh, the firewood pile at my friend's house. Uh, I don't know what it is. This is a tree in his backyard that broke a couple of years ago in a storm, and uh, he chopped it up, and it's been sitting there for a while. Um, there's plenty of CA glue to keep this stuff together because you know how firewood is. But I had a good time turning this, and I hope you guys had a good time watching it. Uh, if you did, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, leave some comments here in this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.